Well, 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 would you look at this? Would you look at what Mr. Edwin Belanga had to say? People are talking about him potentially facing Xander Zayas down the road. And Edwin Belanga comes out and says this. I wonder what boxing fans will say if Mr. Edwin Belanga was African-American. You know what? You ain't got to wonder. Because... African-Americans right now, as I speak, is being criticized for supposedly not fighting each other. They're actually being disrespected. But see, Edwin Belanga, he's allowed to say this because he knows that he's going to get away with saying this. Because non, non-Black non American fighters are held to a different standard. Not a higher standard, but a different standard. Boxing fans are not demanding for Janovic and Golovkin to fight each other. Why? Because they're countrymen. Both of them are middleweight champions, but they don't have to fight each other because they're countrymen. Some years ago, Marcus Madonna and Lucas Matisse did not have to fight each other because they're also countrymen. And you hear this crap with Canelo Alvarez not wanting to fight Mexican fighters because he represents Mexico. And they're allowed to they're allowed to say this because they're not black. You don't hear boxing fans demanding for Fighters like Canelo Alvarez to take on another top Mexican fighter. You don't hear boxing fans demanding for Golovkin and Janovic to fight each other. You don't hear that. Because boxing fans don't care what they do. They don't. As long as they can get their hands on a world title, that is all what matters. But you see, when it comes to African-American fighters, it's not about them just getting their hands on a world title. They got to beat someone who's worth mentioning for a world title. That's the only way African-American fighters is going to receive an ounce of respect. That's the only way. They can't fight a Paul Butler to become undisputed and, and, and get respect for it. No, 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 no. They can't do that. They got to fight someone who's worth mentioning to become undisputed. So when it comes to Edwin Belanga and what he had to say, you know, all I can do is laugh at it because I know boxing fans are going to allow him to say what he said. You know, down the road, this can be potentially a big fight. Two Puerto Rican fighters getting it on, you know. But, you know, Xander Zayas, this, this guy is a junior middleweight. Um, Edwin Belanga, he's a super middleweight. So, I mean, the, 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 the chances of them fighting each other is very, very slim. Because by the time Xander Zayas, you know, moves up to super middleweight, Edwin Belanga probably will be a light heavyweight or pro possibly retired because his future ain't bright. The man's been exposed already. Edwin Belanga doesn't look like he's going to be someone that's going to stick around the sport of boxing very long. So this is a matter of time before he ends up getting knocked out, right? And, and calling it to quits. And, and as for Xander Zayas, I mean, his last performance was very, very shaky. You know, this this is a kid that that's supposed to be the second coming of Felix Trinidad. I don't see anything special about Xander Zayas. You know, I'm he I'm hearing people compare Xander Zayas to Felix Trinidad. I find that highly disrespectful. I find that highly disrespectful. The opponents that Xander Zayas is facing are supposed to be opponents that Xander Zayas is supposed to look dominant against. But Xander Zayas has been going to war with these type of opponents as of lately. And that should tell you everything you need to know about Xander Zayas as a fighter. He's not it. Just like Edwin Belanga. He's not it. Will he be world champion? I don't know. But I do know once Xander Zayas steps up to the contender level, he may lose a fight. Right. He may lose the fight at the contender level. And, you know, going back to what Edwin Belanga had to say, you know, this right here further exposes the anti-black that's going on in boxing. You know what I'm saying? Because he's allowed to say this. He's allowed to. And he knows he's allowed to say this. But you won't catch black American fighters saying something like this. Because they know they'll be held accountable if they were to say something like this. They're not allowed to. And if they were, they will be criticized. They're already being criticized for supposedly not fighting each other. Right. And then I say supposedly because there's a handful of black fighters, a handful, not all, a handful that haven't fought each other yet. 